Hi, this is a follow-up video to my custom connections one. So I've already created this custom connection. Now it's just inside this drone. Now if we want this to be available everywhere else. We can either copy these elements out and recreate the custom connection and save the file to the location. Or we can just select everything here. It'll take a second just to make sure it has everything. And then come back in here and then deselect the things you don't want to delete so i don't want to delete these and erase all those elements delete and now you can go through and just get rid of these last couple now what i should have done first is to resave this file as a different name but it's okay doesn't really matter for now once i don't forget Basically, delete everything you don't want. Just like, oh, I do want that. And, oh, sorry. You can go to the wireframe here. It's probably easier to select things. See, that's a couple of welds there. Get rid of those. Some lines. All right. As I said, it doesn't really matter once you don't, re once you don't select these, but. So now I've already created this command and it's still here. So now what I need to do is save this. So I've named this as HSS to hanger. So what I can do is save this file or save as, don't do save and then go to your C drive, program data, Autodesk, I'm in advanced steel 2020. USA, shared connection templates, and just do HSS to hanger. Now, because you're saving it in this in this location, advanced steel knows to look here for your custom connections. So now, when I go into this other file, which does not have those tubes in it, but I can. You can at least see if I go to my custom connection and you can see it's now available here and this is the connection. So that will work. Now it'll only work on the same size as these two. So if I clipboard, copy with base point, if I copy these Control V, paste, delete the features, and you can see that's what you have. Now let's see if it'll work. So we're going to post some connection, go to hangar, HSS, this will be available now in every drawing. Beam, and there you go. There's your connection. So now I don't have this constraint to the end of this tube these are just plates i drew if you want to have it work for different size plates you would need to use these features here i just drew the plates in i don't rely on this too much uh just project by project basically uh, i hope that helps and uh just remember the file location is let me go back into save as so you can see the file location no i'll have to go back program data program data Autodesk, and Steel, USA, Shared, and that's the tree there, and I'll bring it out to the custom connection templates. Uh, so I hope that helps. Uh, so if you have a connection you feel like you're going to use over and over again, maybe some type of handrail connection, you can copy it in there so you can reuse it. Generally, I like to redo them every time, but uh, it's maybe good practice to build a library. Um, okay. Please give me some feedback if you like the video or if you have anything else you think you'd like to see or maybe you're interested in. Alright, thank you. Bye bye.